Ukraine 2, Sweden 1 after extra time. And I think unlike yesterday, where I think the moral of the story was never assume, never assume. The moral of the story today is the importance of squad depth, the importance of having good, a good squad, the importance of substitutions. Much like in the early game when Grealish came on and you could see a difference, the winner, I think Dobiak, Dov I think if that's how you pronounce his name, scored it for Sweden. Uh, sorry, for Ukraine, sorry. And um, to be honest, I thought the game was going to penalties. It looked like the game was going to the penalties. Obviously, fantastic goal by Zinchenko in the first uh, first half. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And Foisberg obviously equalises. Um, and you're thinking, okay, are they going to open up a bit? It was quite tetchy, to be honest, for the most of the second half. It wasn't as... It was probably a bit more boring than towards the England game, to be honest. But everything changed um, when Danielson basically got that red card. Um, you can have debates. Yes, he did get the ball. Um, in my opinion, the foot was too high. And the fact that, like, I get that people are like, oh, it's never red, but the player was injured. Okay, he caught the player, and the player looked like a degree of discomfort and was injured. It was high, and the player was injured. Ergo, it's dangerous. Ergo, it's a red. Dangerous play. That's that's kind of the point. You know, the point of dangerous play coming in, it's, it was to protect the players. So, yes, in a bygone era, it had been fine. But the point of these things is it's supposed to protect the players to stop those types of challenges from happening. So you don't get what happened to this guy, which is he got injured. So, in my opinion, it's a red card. Um, obviously, you know, I think Sweden really need to see out the, the game, see out the penalties, because then it's 50-50. But, um, and I put a tweet out, um, United fans who are watching this, we know, I know, I've seen this all season, Victor Lindelof getting bullied. All season, the the, the, champ, the uh, Europa League final, Villarreal, bullied. Key game, okay, cross comes in, bullied. For Sweden against Ukraine. And there have been many times this season. He is not good in the air. And he gets pushed around. And to be fair. To be fair to Lindelof. Varane. I noticed that in this for, the, for in this championship. I don't know in general in this season. But he's been, he's been bullied too. But if there's one thing I need for my centre-backs. It's that I need you to at least be controlling. And I, you can't be just bullied like that. Just push. Just elbow. You, you need to do better. Bai won't be bullied. Maguire won't be bullied. But Lindelof. Bullied. He was bullied off that ball, man, and it wasn't good enough. And obviously, the substitute of Jobbiak actually scored, scores the goal. It's a brilliant cross, I think, from Zinchenko again for the assist. Had a solid game. And it's Ukraine versus England in the quarters. And that's and that's it. That's all the round of 16 game, guys. And what and who would have thought? Ukraine actually finished third in their group. Um and yet and they and they managed to come out of it. And my goodness, I, I can't call the winner of the tournament, to be honest. I generally can't. I generally can't because there have been so many, aside from the Wales-Denmark game, there have been so many close encounters. I as Denmark have been the only convincing team, I think. Even England-Germany was pretty close. Every other game has either gone to extra time, involved penalties, whatever. It, it's just manic, but it's been a brilliant Euros. Anyway, guys, use the channel like and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Patreon X. Comment below what were your thoughts on this game. It's getting peak. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.